Okay, guys and gals, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, guten tag, bienvenue, whatever it is, wherever you are. All right, as promised, this is the power pool connection assembly using the Gardner Bender GS388s. You've seen these before. I'm going to try to find a link for them on Amazon to help you find it a little better and get them in your hand sooner. Okay, so. As you know, these are a diagonal cutter with a 12 14 gauge crimp, a 10 12 crimp, and the center crimp. We've talked about that before. So, we're going to show you today how to make a power pool connection using said crimps. So, first thing we do, we just have a small piece of wire we're going to work with here. And if your wire is doing this number here where it doesn't come apart, you can take the end of your diagonal cutters and you can put them in there and just snip that very edge where they're tied together and that zip wire will become two wires so we just strip it back and we're going to use our everstart uh, wire, wire strippers for this and when I go to use these if you can see it right here there's a little jaw there with a little inset that's where I stop my wire at for this it's about a quarter of an inch give or take so just set it in there. It doesn't have to be exact. Just set it in there. Just like so. You can see it provides a nice little clean product. And then you just take that and you're going to twist it up. Twist it up, get it nice and tight. Okay. Set that to the side. Next comes our crimp tool. And for this one, we're going to use the 1210 gauge with a 45 amp power pool connector. And when you load it, you load it right to the edge on the face, like so. Just like that. You can see it there. And you load it in sideways, just like you see here. And that's going to close the crimp for you. So you just enter it in, just like so. Don't worry about getting the shielding in there. It'll be fine. And we just close it up tight. Give it a good squeeze. Okay. Now you can see it stands up on end. That's okay. We're going to come back and we're going to put it in the 1214 this time. And we're going to set it in there at about a 45 degree angle. Like so. And you want the flat end up. Flat end up at about a 45 degree angle. And you can see it right there. About a 45 if you can see that in there then you're just going to give it another squeeze close it up and what that's going to do is that's going to make a tight connection so it doesn't come off now to finish it we're going to go down to the third hole on the bottom which is our round hole and we're going to set it in there right to the edge just like we did when we started and we're going to squeeze it up and round it out and it does not come off for power pool connections, you need the little side you see there down, the notch. And when it goes down, it's going to sit flush with this flat side on the top, just like so. And when you go to do it, it snaps right in place. And that is a solid connection that is not going to come apart on you. So that is how you use your gardener benders to make a cheap and easy, just like me, power pull connection. Links for everything will be in the description. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.